So this video is going to continue our introduction to Stellarium, but introduce a couple other features in here. Last time we looked at the location and the time. Now we're going to look a little bit about moving around. So when you have your mouse in the window, just like a lot of programs, you can grab and drag to move around and look in different directions. Now I've got the directions as in northeast, southwest currently on, which is the default, but that allows you to see where you're looking. So now I'm looking towards the west, the northwest, the north, the northeast, and the east. So as you move around, you can look towards the horizon. Of course, the sky isn't just on the horizon. You can also drag down and look further up in the sky. Now right now, with it being daytime, there's not a whole lot interesting up in the middle of the sky. But you might also want to sort of zoom out and see more of the sky. Here I'm only seeing part of the sky and I can't really tell where I am. So what you can do is a couple of different ways. You can either change your field of view by working down here. Now here it shows you your field of view. Um, you don't actually adjust it there. Instead, you can with your mouse scroll out or scroll in to look at a particular piece of sky. So here's the moon. When we scroll in on the moon, we actually start to be able to see that. And we've got a few other things like Saturn popped up here. So you can drag things around and you're able to see what's going on. So you'll often want to scroll in to see more detail. But there's also times where you may want to scroll out so you can see a larger part of the sky all at once. Now anytime you do that, there's going to end up being some distortion. And it's the same thing with panoramic or fisheye images that you might take with a camera. In order to see a large part of that three-dimensional sky, which is really a half dome above you, it's going to cause a little bit of distortions. Now if you want to see an overhead view where you're actually seeing the whole sky, it's really distorted on the edges, but this allows you to see the whole sky. So if you were looking in this direction, that would be towards the northwest, the north, etc. And straight overhead would be in the center. So if I were to be laying on my back without any obstructions, I'd be able to see the moon and the sun right now. If you do have it in this position, you can still rotate things around. And depending on your skill with the mouse, you might have a little bit easier time than me. A lot of the times we'll create these star charts where north is toward the top, south is to the bottom. And notice east and west are reversed of what we look at on a map because the map would be looking down on the ground. And in this case, I'm looking up at the sky. So this is the eastern horizon and the western horizon. So that gives you a little bit of an introduction for how to move around and zoom in and out in Stellarium.